Hi, Stitcher. Hi. I'm Keisha. I'm Laura. Welcome to the Pattern Queens episode 125. Today is Sunday, June 11th, and this is a channel about cross stitch and friendship and rambles and lots and lots of shenanigans and take two. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can't remember what I'm supposed to say. Uh, and it's also about showing up in the same shirt. We didn't even plan this. <laughs> <laughs> it is a gloomy, rainy day here, which really should make pretty good light to show everything. For sure. So we're going to look on the positive there side. There we go. Though. There we go. Though so, uh, James was peeking out the window and going, Mommy, it's raining. It's raining. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with you? Um, not a whole lot. Uh, kind of the same old, same old work and James and uh, the fitness challenge. I've kind of talked about that on here before, but my uh, my work is doing like a step challenge with a bunch of other people who are part of our insurance pool. It's a silly thing, but the goal this week was nine thousand stitches, and it has kicked steps. My butt. St she said stitches all week, so my brain is combining both of them, and I'll tell you a little bit about that because she's she's on nine thousand stitches a 9, week too. So a week. no, not <laughs> even close, guys. But um. So 9,000 steps, and then next week is 10,500 steps, and I don't know that I'm going to make it. But I did do 11,000 steps one day this week, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so it's gotten me a little bit body fatigued and obviously mentally fatigued. So <laughs> We have been busy for sure. Um, I am out of school, Ooh. which I know I was just out yes. when we were back the last time but um this i've been out for two full weeks which is mm -hmm. exciting and we've been to a couple of places and you'll find out when we do haul that i left my haul at home mm -hmm. so that's okay <laughs> you'll see it next week or right. whenever i will and hopefully i will start the projects this week so we'll see yeah um we want to welcome you all to our channel and thank you for coming and joining us. Make sure you comment down below. We love to read the comments. We were doing a really good job of getting in and reading them and answering. And I'm not sure that I have been in there this week. It's yeah. been a week, a busy bear of a week. Yes. Yes. I have a big project. We both have lots of projects. Mm -hmm. So with that, you want to jump right into finishes? I do. So we have a pretty significant finish that we can now tell you about, but we finished it a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. but are you ready for this? You go ahead with okay. that one. Well, I'll just show you the great big old thing and <laughs> maybe if I can hold it. We finished the fourth year of Frog Wars. It's the one at the bottom that's what? trying to unfold. So I do the DMC version. Yeah, it's just going to go. It's the one at the bottom. We still have three more years to get on three this piece of years. fabric. So. so they'll go, they'll all go straight down. And yes. Yeah. Okay, show us yours. Okay. Now we had pre ordered frames for all seven years. So they look like these. Mm -hmm. um, but we took this out and Kathy got this popped in and we got to pick this up yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nice. We're so excited. So here is the uh, color version. The, what do I want to the call overdice. it? The over, yes, there you go. The overdye version. So it's on the hand dyed fabric, which is cabbage. And um, it's using all of the overdyed flosses, but that is it. I'm going to sneak in and come underneath there you. There you go. So mine is on parchment from Fiber on a Whim, and it's DMC. Mine, you can tell mine is smaller. It's on 36 count. <laughs> <laughs> this is 32 count. I love that this year's quote is a quote from Hagrid. Yes. Because if you, I mean, if you don't know, we lost Robbie Coltrane this mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. Last year or the beginning of this year? I think it was the beginning of this year, maybe. Maybe. In between the yeah. last frog works and this frog works. During the school year, which... Mm -hmm affects everything with me i feel like everything right. is in different mm -hmm. time periods than what we would right. normally see right. so those are our big finishes those were big finishes mm -hmm. but we finished those back in april we're so excited about it oh, I, know. I know i pushed keisha a little bit because katie said we needed to have them by the end of june or end of may end of may 
Or maybe she said June. She said June, oh, okay. mid, maybe mid June. Mm -hmm. And we decided we were going to finish by the end of May. Mm -hmm. And then I asked you if we could finish before Gilmore Girls. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so I just bumped us up, but we were both doing so good. <laughs> and it was like, we might as well just finish this thing. And that's what happens whenever you model such with Laura and this. <laughs> but Keisha had, it's so fun because we kind of push each other. It's, it's not a competition at all. Right. Well, and it, it's really fun because we start on different, on opposite corners. Yes. So I always start top left, you start bottom right. So eventually we meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so we could just be like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good. And then by the time we get past the middle, we're like, oh yeah, I remember stitching that. <laughs> so watch out for this but the good thing about it is that because we model stitch that way, mm -hmm. we have caught like 99.9% .9 of any errors. Yeah. That, or, or things that Katie just wants to rechart. Because yes. Any, any kind of things weird little look, spots. Which is one of the nice things about us being, I mean, you more so, but us being so close to the designer and showing her mm -hmm. so often is that she's able to look and kind of make mm -hmm. adjustments if she feels like they're necessary. So. Yeah, and I mean, there were snafus with mine this year because the three greens, mm -hmm. two of the greens are really similar this year. Mm -hmm. And if you're a part of that group, I know that Katie is posting and making sure that people know um, that they want to they wanna double check that because otherwise it kind of looks like weird mm -hmm. green blobs yeah. in things. So but anyway, anyway, it's it's. It was exciting. Yes. No, it's good. And and now that it's been shared in the Frog Wars group, you're able to show you. So mm -hmm. we're very excited because that's a big part of our stitching year. It's, yes. You know, I've done two models now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. because right. I did Stars Hollow and I did Frog Wars. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So. And you'll see pretty quickly the other model that I am working on. Right. So. Right. And then I have uh, a model that I'm working on currently too. So I don't have a whole lot of whips to mm -hmm. show you, but what we do have is a lot of, yes. a lot of haul because yeah, we've, yeah. we've had a good time. So, um, as you know, or may not know, I don't know. Sometimes I'm not good at keeping up with things, but, um, uh, we didn't post a video last week. Um, because Saturday we went to the Stitch Me and that was very exciting. And then on Sunday I had my niece's birthday party. So we just didn't film. And if I think about it, I'll insert pictures like here mm -hmm. of the world's largest truck stop. Yes, because if you're driving through Iowa, like the way we drove through Iowa, right before you get to Illinois is the world's largest truck stop, Iowa 80. And yeah, so... We needed gas then anyway, and I had been looking at the billboards the entire way, and I was like, we could stop at the world's largest truck stop. And let me just tell you, I was personally completely delighted by it. This place was huge. You went in, there's like a mall food court. They had a 24-hour diner. They had like a little toy store and all of the deli things you could think of. I bought socks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a short video, and I can attach that at the end of our video today. Yeah. And... It's, I mean, you probably what you're going to hear is a lot of loud noise. So if you have headphones on, when we wave goodbye, turn your volume down a little bit. Um, because, I, I mean, I can't adjust the volume for right. both, but right. it, it just was crazy. And really, seriously, the video is the two of us standing together and Turning I in <laughs> turn in a circle so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, but it was... <laughs> There was a secondary level and we didn't even go down right, into it. Right. We really got gas, went in, used the restroom, and then got a couple of things and left. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but, it was kind of funny. Yeah, it was cool though. You want to show some of your haul? I do want to show some of my haul. So, all of my haul, or all of your haul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pick and choose. Um, it's all from the Stitch Me. So, first, I mean, I got a grind guard. That's a space grind guard because we, uh, Lara tested it out and it should fit on my big hoop. And I thought I would use this for some of my bigger uh, full coverage projects. And then I also bought these really cute acrylic floss drops that are all kinds of different colors. Yeah. Now yours are like three colors in there. Is yeah, that right? There's green and clear. And there's before. like an opaque white. There's an orange. Okay. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So. Um, I'm pretty excited to get those out. I'm not sure what project I'm going to use them for yet, but um, okay. And then I bought 
This is a piece of cotton candy, 40 count linen. And I bought this just because I liked it. And you're not really getting a great, let's see. That helped it a little bit, it, but it's a really soft pink and blue. It does look like cotton candy. It's not showing up. The it best. is pretty. If you show a little bit of the white, okay, you hold that. Yeah. I don't know if we show that gets it's you a little, little more. Yeah, but it's just really soft and pretty. It and is. I saw it and I don't have anything in mind for it, but I liked it. So I got it. Um, we were lucky because there were there were some baskets that were eight yard cuts, mm -hmm. so we could uh, yes. play a little more. <laughs> and then um, I don't have it pulled up, but if you bought the uh, the kitchen uh, black needle box, there is a snack bag in there, and Katie sent out the pattern for the snack bag. So I got some red uh, floss to do that pattern because uh, it's it's just red. You could do whatever you wanted, but it said, uh, it talks about snacks and this is called gobbler and it just made me laugh. <laughs> so I was looking for a red. So I got this red. Blue red. So that is my plan for that. And then I'll show you this piece of fabric. This is a piece of fabric called dive in. Look at that. And that's pretty much what it looks like. And this is a piece of 46 count. Um, which I've never tried before. Uh, and okay, so it's nice to be able to get an eighth yard mm -hmm. of something before you dive yeah. right into ah, it's called <laughs> dive in, before you dive into a big project with it. But what I'm planning on using it for, um, I bought Always Time for Tea from the Tiny Modernist uh, whenever I was at market. And these are the silks. So I'm going to use Ooh. that. And it's a small project, so I figured that it might be kind of fun to try on this. That will be pretty. But now I have it all. I'll fold this later. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the last thing I got, which is the piece of paper I'm holding here, is the pattern That's No Moon from the Witchy Stitcher. And you can't even really, it's kind of dark. But it says That's No Moon. Um. And I was trying to find a black that I thought would work well, but instead what I found was opalescent gorgeous grape. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a piece of 36 count opal. I feel like I must be rubbing off on you. You must be. And then uh, these are the flosses for it. Oh, well, all but one of the flosses for it. Thank you. Uh, Technical difficulties. Right. Yeah. So I think that's going to be really, really fun. And what I'm most excited about is since it's an opalescent, and I'm sorry, you can't really see it. There are a bunch of little um, stitches around the outside for stars. And since it's opalescent, I'm not going to do all the teeny tiny stitches. Um, you won't really need them. No. So I showed this to my husband who loves Star Wars, and he's excited for me to start it. So I almost started it as soon as I got home, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I was good. August 4th, won't we be at camp then? Or is that too early? I was going to well, say, you know, it's a fourth. Yeah, that's so right. you could start it at camp. And then I, well, this is how you know you're really rubbing off on me. I don't know why I got purple. <laughs> 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 so anyway, I got a bag, which is, you know, you get a whole bunch of stuff. You need a bag to put it in. There you go. So those are my purchases from Be Stitch Me. And I will show you one other. Well, actually, I'll have. Laura insert the picture here. So I found that Medusa doll maker was selling her cross stitch patterns on Etsy. And uh, she has been selling the kit for Gamer Nuevo through uh, Gecko Rouge, mm -hmm. but you have to buy the entire kit and they're overseas. So it's kind of expensive. And I saw in um, a group chat that I'm part of that she had listed it. So I am going to stitch that. I bought the pattern. I haven't bought the things yet. Because here is one of my plans. And let me pull up the actual stitch count number because it's ridiculous. Uh, so the stitch count on that is 193,936 stitches. Uh, just a couple. Just a few. So um, 
I talked about the walking challenge that I'm doing for work. Well, this coming week is the last week of the challenge. And I've made such good progress building up my steps that I want to continue to do that. So if I were to walk 8,000 steps from now until the end of June, I would have walked the number of stitches in this. And then I get to pick it up. Ooh, That's my current fitness good goal. Good plan. So anyway. It all works together, yes. right? So that is... Who knew cross-stitch could keep you fit? That's right. That's right. Well, <laughs> but the fitness has really cut into the cross-stitch time. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'll be around longer to finish those projects if mm -hmm. I get mm -hmm. up and get active. But that is my goal. Awesome. I was trying to decide if I had anything that was um, from Color and Cotton here, and I just seriously don't. Mm. I, I, yeah, it's in... The color and cotton fabric I bought was specifically for projects. Mm -hmm. And one project I entirely kitted up with their fabric and their floss. Yeah. And it's one I'm starting this month. Mm -hmm. So probably you'll see it in the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. as long as I finish my big model. So, but I have a lot of other stuff to show you. Um, one of the first things that I got is from Night Stalker call Night Stalkers Calling. And I bought some beautiful floss from them. So this one is an oopsie. So it's just one that was like a mist eye. There, I'll pull it up a little further. It's just gorgeous. Keisha floss, right? Yeah, I like to, I bought a whole bunch of purple things. You have a whole bunch of green things. Yeah. <laughs> And I think when I saw all this, I had thought about these two patterns that I have. Mm -hmm. One of them is this, a sheltering tree from all through the night, which I haven't decided if I'm really going to do in green. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a Christmas tree. And for it, I bought, now you'll see the Valdani down in there, but I bought evergreen. Well, what I didn't realize when I bought the Oopsie is that the Oopsie is evergreen that mist dyed. So I have lots of this color. You like what you like. Yes. <laughs> so it will be, well, and I bought several skeins because it. I, I remembered that it said I needed like three skeins of Valdani for mm -hmm. one of them. And um, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to buy a couple extra and make yeah. sure I have enough. Just make sure. Yeah. Um, then Katie Landis doesn't know about this. And part of this I'll show later, but for her birthday and because I want one too, um, Lois at lady.creates had, uh, N is for narwhal and it's this beautiful scissor fob and with it, I hate being so far away here. Here we go. <laughs> With it, she is making a donation to Special Olympics. Oh, but it's so gorgeous. So it's so the little narwhal charm. It's a, a little plaque that says, I can. Um, there's a snowflake. They're just all sorts of pretty things. And there are red and green beads on here. It says, or red and black, I'm sorry. Black and red beads represent Special Olympics colors, and the price of this fob is a total donation to Special Olympics. Aww. So I bought three of these. Yes. So one is for me, one is for Katie, and then I'm letting her decide what the third one is for. So it may show up in a prize giveaway at one of our retreats this summer, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you just you never know. Okay. And the other two things in here I'm going to save to show with one of my whips so that um, you get to see everything together. Because I bought stuff for a project that I'm working on that I am trying to encourage myself to finish. And with models, it's kind of been pushed back. Right. So I'm like, I, I'm going to buy it something special yes. okay. so that I get done. <laughs> um, I also got this one staying here. Okay. I also got my two um, clubs, like right after we filmed oh, last time. Of course, that's always the way. 
So the first thing I got is I got my monthly fabric from Fiberlicious and it's called Glowing Dreams Ooh. and it is beautiful. Um, if I can get hold of it. Now I get a quarter yard. Look at that. You can see I have a little, the little yes. bit of glow right mm -hmm. down there in the corner, but Ooh, so pretty. It's, it's really a gorgeous piece of fabric and I'm really excited to get that. Mm -hmm. Now it'll go sit in my stash until I figure out what in the world nice. has to go on it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I love it. Then the other thing that I got right afterwards was my Silk of the Month Club. And it always comes in a little envelope. And a pretty bag. Mm -hmm. And this month was just like, they're all gorgeous, mm -hmm. but some months, you know, are your months. Yeah. So this one, and these are just numbered, so I'm not going to tell you what they are, but these are standard colors in their line. And that's what I got. Aren't those gorgeous? They're so pretty. And they feel so nice. I just love those silks. So what I love is that my bag is kind of teal. So yeah. it goes with all that That's too. Good. And I'm putting things away as I go. Because, you know, there's so much stuff. Then I think the next thing I'm going to show. I got a cute grime guard too. Because we are stitching more. We discovered that, yes, it will fit on the hoop. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is mine. I just thought it was cute. I got it, okay. a little one. I didn't think I got a little one. Mm -hmm. I think it will fit around my great big hoop. We'll have to see. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I also got um, some lost drops. And what color would I get but... Purple. Aww. That pretty well matches my shirt today. <laughs> it does. So that's fun. And I got, I ended up kidding up this whole thing while I was there. I had pulled out a couple of patterns and things just to see, you know, to have something to play with. Right. So I have this strawberry blonde from um carriage house mm -hmm. and i bought this piece of cinnamon linen and it's 36 count i love it i kept trying to go back and buy a piece of cinnamon <laughs> I, resist. I just think it'll look really really pretty on there and then my glosses that i chose are crimson sienna guardian fern and pine and then it also calls i need something for her face and i need something and it's just her face in one hand and um a little bit of black to do her features but those will be my colors on there so i am really excited for this this may have to work its way into my starts or you know, I'm starting 15 things for my birthday. Not really, but it feels like that. So it may just be another uh, birthday start. Birthday Who knows? Start. <laughs> Why not start all the projects? Because I'm not trying to get myself down at all. No. Then just because it was beautiful, I bought this piece of 36 count iris. That's I just love it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have to figure out, I'm going to have to really plan it and get close to those corners so that I can catch some of that in a project. Mm -hmm. Really 36 count, I may end up doing a couple of projects on it. And then mm -hmm. also, this is the one Katie and I were just like, oh my gosh. So we bought Reef, both of us, uh, and I believe they're both opalescent. Mm -hmm. Mine ended up being 28 count and hers 32 count because that's just the piece that we each liked better. So 
so pretty. I just love that. And it is shimmery like mm -hmm. mad. So that's, yeah. A really pretty piece of fabric. <laughs> Don't know what I will do on this. No. It will Something probably, great. yeah, and it'll probably be multiple things because I don't know that I really have other great big things mm -hmm. that I'll be starting. A mirror mermaid would look really good on that. I know oh. that's not the sort of thing that you would put on it, but if you are into mirror mermaids. I have one mirror mermaid and that's it. Then I am planning to start a whale during, um, this will be one of my July starts. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my frog warts piece, actually. And I already had all the flosses mm -hmm. to go with it. Um, I'm going to have to change out a couple, I think. But I found this really pretty piece of 32 count morning fog. And, you know, I have a whole quarter yard. It's not going to hurt my feelings to have all of this. Right. But I think it'll take like a 16th of a yard. It's just not going to take that much. Mm -hmm. um, the stitch count... Oh, she doesn't write the stitch count. And it's not even on there. That's so funny. Oh, there it is. 92 by 61. So yeah, it won't funny. be. Yeah. I mean, that's what, like four inches. Mm -hmm. So that won't be, won't be big. But it'll be fun. And I have it. You guys will get to see this more and more. The inside fabric on this is all little narwhals so mm -hmm. see that's where my my scissor fob mm -hmm. needs to go and the back is this i love that one just kind of a fun one mm -hmm. one i made and that's not all folks. <laughs> okay that one's coming up in a minute um so melissa from um my brain has just gone sheba designs did special project bags for Stitch North. And when I saw them, I knew I needed to have them. And I bought one for me and I bought one for Katie and I didn't bring Katie's. So she had these both ways. Um, she had a vinyl front, which is what Katie prefers. And she had this, which I just love. And look at this, attention to detail. Yes. She matched the bird up. Um, I could choose my zipper color. I love this dark green mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, for sure. And Katie and I looked at ours, and I think we repeated one tiny little part. <laughs> um, so this fabric must just be huge. Yeah. And the inside, look at that. So pretty. It is such a me fabric, mm -hmm. and I just couldn't couldn't resist. And I had sent Melissa a note that said, do I have to share? And so she wrote me a note and said, thank you, Laura. Let me know if you decide to share. <laughs> so I love that. That was so cute. But mm, oh, her back so, was so good. She had a few of these left and you can go check her out. It's Sheba Designs, S-H-I-B-A. And she is so quick. Um, this came like just immediately yeah. after I ordered it. And I couldn't wait for Katie's birthday. So she's already gotten this. Right. And that's on Etsy. And she ships from Canada. And mm -hmm. it's really fast even getting to us. So mm -hmm. it's really good. Okay. So for now, that's what I'm showing. Right. Okay. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yeah. Now I need a drink. Katie Landis, Katie Landis. Oh, that's not nice. You don't have a drink. Oh, that's okay. I don't need it because I'm going to go into my whips. So I'm working on a model. Really working on a model. And so... I only have a couple of things to show. I'm sorry about it. But That's why we had all of the, That's right. all the haul. Little Jen with all the haul. Um, so the first thing I've been working on, and I've been working on this during Jane's bedtime, um, is Castle Homecoming, which is one of the current sows from the Frosted Pumpkin. And this is on a piece of 32 Count Valor from Picture This Plus. And here's where I am. Look how cute. Oh, thanks. So basically, there's a Oops, knife sorry. on the unicorn. Laura will put a picture up there. So I have to finish the knife that's on the unicorn, give the unicorn its horn, and then put in some flag bunting, and I'll be done with this one. <laughs> the next part comes out at the end of this month. I can't remember exactly which day. Um, but James has been helping me with this, and he loves the unicorn. That's what we've been working on this week. And he'll say, we need to stitch it bigger and bigger and bigger. 
<laughs> so he wants a really big pink unicorn. Um, but I've been telling him that we have to follow the pattern, but I can't just do it. I mean, I could, but I'm not smart enough to, to make a gigantic unicorn. unicorn right in the middle. So, um, so that's one of the things I worked on. I also did a few more stitches on Bonded by the Rain. And the artist is Leonid Afrimov, and it's from Heaven and Earth Designs. So it hasn't changed a whole lot oh. since the last time you watched, you saw it, but I stitched some down in here. So it's moving right along. Um, it is so gorgeous. Thank you. And this is on a piece of 25 count easy grid linen. Okay. So when you use this, you pretty much have to use DMC floss, right? Uh, most of the Heaven and Earth design is charted either in DMC and there are some that have Krynik in them. So. Um, because you wash that to get rid of the grid lines, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's but. just a little note in yes. there, but man, it's amazing what you can do. It's it's a lot, but I'm I'm really I really really like this a lot, and hopefully we'll get to work on it a little bit more here soon because I'm I'm looking forward to getting out of this dark corner and getting into more and more colors, even though you can see the little splashes of color down at the bottom there so pretty so, yeah you put some yellows yes yes it's exciting so those are all the whips i have to show <laughs> for two weeks because i've been really focusing on another one um i can't decide i know that i showed you guys this one the last time but i think maybe i worked yeah. on it more afterwards so it is knee high by hands-on design. Yes, I did because I worked on it on the way to color and cotton. And yes, I finished filling in the, the green sign, which took a lot. And I did the other side of the fence. So I'm ready for the, um, for the quilt to come up there. Yes. Then my other part of Lady Dot, and I wanted to do this so that I would get everything together, is I think maybe... I'll finish this as a pillow if this is big enough. So I got this piece of navy bean um, velveteen to go behind this, which mm -hmm. I think will be really pretty. Yes. And then to trim it up, thank you, Fuchsia. Mm -hmm. To trim it up, I got some algae chenille, Ooh. eyelash chenille, because I was thinking that the eyelash would kind of look like, oops, sorry, like um, cornstalk. Oh, yeah. So I thought that could be kind of fun around the edge. So I will definitely read all her little notes. If you don't know, Lois puts information in here. Or you can look it up how to attach these things. Oh, nice. But I'm excited about this. And I yeah. just think it'll be fun. I think that will look great. I know it looks like a crazy little mess of stuff right now. But it is... I can get it apart. One piece is, come on, that wide. So that'll be good. Yeah. And it'll be so fun against that navy. I'm, yes. I'm really excited. And about it this. about matches the sign. So that's yes. fun. Um, and really, like, you know, I just felt like it was going to kind of look like the corn tassel, mm -hmm. which I looked through the colors that she had on her side. I could have chosen a yellow, but I just wanted the green. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that will look great because Keisha has influenced right, me and I need right. all the green that I can come up with. <laughs> and I'm buying purple, so <laughs> <laughs> we are just sharing this. And I'm going to put those things in that bag. And this one I have in a love you more sleeve. I love this one with all of the skunks. Mm. So, so I think this one was named Call Me Flower. Oh. Hopefully everybody gets that reference. And so that can go away too. See, I'm cleaning up as I go. I'm I'm a great big mess over here. As well. <laughs> and then I will have to find a picture. I'll see if Katie will give me one. Mm -hmm. um, of Santa's stamp collection by the Black Needle Society. She decided she wanted a model stitched of this. And I am doing this on 32 count pine cone linen from Color and Cotton. Mm -hmm. So you did, you do get to see one of Katie's purchases right. from Color oh, and Cotton. You have just done not mine. So I started this June 2nd. I have done 
over 9,000 stitches. A lot. So, um, and you know, I just like work in one section wherever my hoop is. I did all of the, the stamps are all edged in ecru. Mm -hmm. And then the ecru, the rest of it was up in here. So all of it is done. I have a zero oh, wow. on my pattern keeper. And then I started with block 25, stamp 25, because that's the one that people were saying Thanks. took forever. And I thought, well, I'm just going to do it. Also, it let me use almost every color. Nice. So that was kind of fun too. And Katie and I took this yesterday out to our LNS and she has ordered in a frame for us. Perfect. So I have promised her that I will get it done quickly and that when the frame arrives, this will be ready to go. Nice. So, and the reason is this is going to be released by the Black Needle as a PDF chart on, um, for the beginning of July for Christmas in July. Perfect. So, and then just for you to get a good giggle, this is what it's in. <laughs> this is a bag that came from our Stars Hollow retreat last year, summer in Stars Hollow. But um, it's such a huge bag that it's perfect for a big project. Yes, for sure. And I, you know, I just really like the idea that everything goes easily in there. Watching you stitch on that is making me want to pull mine out. <laughs> I started it because that was originally released to people who bought the nice list box mm -hmm. last year and you got a stamp a day. And so I stitched on it for most of December last year, but I did not finish it. So you brought something up too. Um, so if you've been watching, you know that I've kind of been struggling. I was trying to do the 59 before 60 mm -hmm. and I, I realized that I don't want to finish all my smalls just to hit a goal. Right. Um, and that was, you know, kind of an arbitrary goal and it was fun, but mm -hmm. I, I just was like, mm. but it's been kind of like tickling at the back and how can I complete that? And what am I going to do? So I started this and Katie said to me, you know, those were all released as individual charts. So I'm counting them and I will have way more than 59 finishes Perfect. before I turn 60. Nice. So there we go. Katie Landis, problem solver. Yep. <laughs> now I should say I was up to like 43 or 44 mm -hmm. finishes and that's with me getting about a two month late start on them. I only had two projects finished because I didn't realize that, um, that our friend Chrissy Ann was doing that mm -hmm. until a couple months after my birthday. Right. So I started with the deficit to begin with, but I, you know, I've been thinking about other goals. This kind of goes into plans, other goals anyway, that, um, this will be a big year. And in, um, uh, I was born, I have a couple of thoughts about this. So another big year would be 65 and I would like to get my whips down to 65 by 65, Ooh. but, um, maybe 64 before 65, oh, you know, yeah. and yeah. kind of follow that. Uh -huh. But also I was born in 1963. Mm -hmm. So I could push myself a little harder. I'm currently sitting at about 150. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if I could get to 62 by 63. Ooh. Ooh, that would be a big push. Yeah. Especially since, you know, like this year I'm starting at least 23 right. projects. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yep. I've managed to keep my starts. I've had enough finishes that I've managed to keep my starts yeah. pretty well level. And I moved from um, 180, what do I have? 184. Mm -hmm. And I'm down to right about 150. Now, yeah. not all those this year, but right. Right. between last year and this year, I'm yeah. down. So that you're far. still like that negative. Mm hmm. So that's exciting. And if I count those stamps all as individual finishes, I'm going to be way up there with the finishes. <laughs> nice. But it doesn't get that many whips mm -hmm. off my list. So. Right, right. <clears throat> Especially since you started it. Yes. Um, I, you know, I don't always count models as starts mm -hmm. just because I know that they have a deadline and they're going to get finished. I count them as finishes, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily... Um, 
the Stars Hollow series is on my whip list because it's a continuing thing. Right. right. The Frog Wart series is on my whip list because it's a continuing mm -hmm. thing. Although I've taken off the um, size of them because the that's what determines how many of each category I have. Mm -hmm. So like right now, because they're finished, they're sitting on my whip list, but they're not counting in the total gotcha. because they're not active whips. Mm -hmm. They're not they're not even created whips yet. Right. So that's where that goes. Um, do you have other plans? Um, so uh, my plans are to keep with the step goals so that I can walk myself to being able to start that. I don't know when I'm going to start that, though. Maybe I'll start it as soon as I get it up. Maybe I'll hold it for my birthday. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I, I don't know what the prompts are for this week for fandoms to chase. Ooh, out. we have to look when we get out here because yeah. I love the CDs. So, um, I do have some things that I'm working on for monthlies, like uh, Castle Homecoming. I'm working on for a monthly one. Um, I also I want to get Death by Cross Stitch out because there is one that's just whatever whip you want, 2001 stitches, because Ooh. that's when the Fellowship of the Ring, the movie, came out. Okay. Um, so, I want to pull that back out because I did a lot of stitches right at the beginning of the year and then didn't stitch on it. And we ever. stitched pretty faithfully last year. We worked really hard to get a thousand stitches a month in and we did pretty well with that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, mine has been languishing yeah. partly because of that 59 before 60. And that's part of what's been making right. me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so those are two that I'd like to pull out this week at some point. And then um, probably model stitching is mostly what I'm going to be mm -hmm. focusing my time on because I'm really excited. So <laughs> I've been staying up entirely too late because I realized somewhere during the week that I was averaging about a thousand stitches a day wow. on this. Wow. Um, and it's 15,643 stitches mm -hmm. in total. And uh, although it has a couple less than that, because we found a, a place on Thursday where um, there are extra stitches in there. And I kept looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and thinking, something is off with this. Mm -hmm. And I had Keisha look at it and she said, yep, the, the, they shouldn't be there. <laughs> so I will keep plugging away on that. I This was my big thing. I think I told you this. I had a day this week where I looked down and I was over 2,200 stitches. That is impressive. I haven't done that in I don't know how long. Right. And I uh, promptly, when I got ready for bed, went in and put my arthritis gel on yes, my wrist, yes. let it all dry, and put my wrist brace on, and I slept with that on. And knock on wood, I haven't had any problems with it. That's so. good. That's good. And I've been kind of, you know, I've been trying to have like a morning session of stitching and then a, a later session of stitching just to try and spread it out some and well, see that's how I'm doing. One of the things that, so uh, I work a job where I don't really walk a lot. And so trying to get in the number of steps that I'm trying to get in is kind of difficult to try to do all after work. So I've been making myself get up earlier. And so I'll get up and I'll like, I've been walking in place because we don't have a treadmill and I'm at home in the morning by myself with James most of the time. So I can't just like go for a mm. walk. So I've just been walking in place and listening to music. And so I'll do that for about a half hour. And then I'll have about a half hour of listening to an audio book and stitching. So that's been kind of nice to have that little bit of time in the morning to do that because who knows how much time I'm going to get whenever I come home because it's all dependent on my little almost three-year-old monster. <laughs> He's a good boy. He just likes, um, I go into his room and he just likes to have me in there while he's falling asleep, which is fine. But I have little neck lamps, so I stitch. And he'll come over and he'll go, I want to stitch with you a little bit. <laughs> so he pulls the, pulls the needle and then tries to stick it somewhere random. I'm like, please don't mess up the stitches. <laughs> so, but Anyway, so that cuts into the stitching time because he's just been going to bed later and later. So I usually don't get out of his room until like 9.30. And then I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I've kind of decided that I may end up counting 
the stamp collection as one of my June starts and only have one other June start, or I'll just move that one to another month. Mm -hmm. Um, because I, it, that's a lot of stitches Yeah. between the three models that I've stitched oh, yeah. for black needle. Okay. Well, four, because I did finish mm -hmm. another one in this last right. two week period. Um, I've had close to 40,000 stitches yeah. in yeah. models. So it's been great big ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. so they've been that that's a lot of stitches in my in my year for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have the ones that I showed you guys last time that I'd really like to get started. If I'm only starting one this month, I'm probably starting the sampler because I've been really excited about mm -hmm. it. Bristol Grace, I think is the name yes, of it. That'd be great. And um well, then, you, you do have a retreat coming up. You need a retreat start, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I have a piece to go to retreat that I hope a lot of people will stitch on for me. So I have to get it set up. Mm -hmm. But also we have July birthdays mm -hmm. and we are planning to start Ruby yes. by Carolyn Manning Designs. Mm -hmm. um, we would invite you to join us either stitching something by Carolyn Manning mm -hmm. or starting Ruby with us or stitching something red, red. because Ruby yes. is the is the birthstone for July. And Carolyn Manning has a lot of uh, birthstone pieces. Yeah. So you could even just go find your birthstone if you're into that. Sort of oh, thing. that would be fun yeah. too. Yeah. And we'll come up with a hashtag mm -hmm. and, and um, we haven't picked an official date. Maybe we will start them together on a stitch with us. That sounds like a great idea. So maybe we'll pick a random Sunday in July, which, you know, they're We'll have a retreat during July, so we know we'll be missing. Ooh, if we did that, maybe we could start that, and that would go up on that Sunday. Ooh, there we go. Because that the Sunday of the Frog Wars retreat is also the Sunday of Jason's birthday party. <laughs> so it's a Sunday we would not yeah. have filmed. Right. Anyway, so, so we if we plan it ahead of time, yeah. we would have to plan it like a week ahead of time, probably. But anyway. So. We'll, we'll talk logistics yeah, later. We'll let you know. And I have um, a piece... From Sweet Wing Studio called Forever in Peace, mm -hmm. which is the one that I kitted up at Color and Cotton. And mm -hmm. it'll I'll show you. It's I'm really excited about it. Um, I do have one extra copy of it mm -hmm. that I could send out. Um, I'll put a picture of what it looks like in here. And if you are interested, then uh, use the word peace. And don't say anything um, about a giveaway or a prize or anything else. Um, I need you to be 18 so that I can ask you for your address. I would love for you to be a subscriber. Um, but my friend Doreen is starting this with me already. And one other person I bought, I specifically bought extra charts so that I could have a couple of people start with me. Nice. And nice. it's a really pretty one. So if you would like to start that one sometime, I'm I'm starting July 3rd because that's my birthday. Mm -hmm. And um, if you would like to start that sometime with us, then go ahead and use that word peace. Yes. And I will look for those comments and yeah. we'll get somebody in some that out. And I'm still trying to decide about my birthday start. It may be Gabriel Nuevo. It may be the Breakfast Mill Hill, which I've been holding on to. For a special occasion. You've been really excited about that. <laughs> so there's nothing more Keisha than bacon, eggs, and toast. I think you should start it for my birthday. Oh, okay. You know, because, yeah. <laughs> I'll start the most Keisha thing I can think of for Lara's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha is not a big uh, Americana stitcher. Mm -hmm. And I think I am just because that's when my birthday is. Wait and... a minute. I bought something specifically to start on your oh, birthday. Oh, you did. It's French fries in a red, white, and blue container from Mill Hill. I've got to go find that. <laughs> and if you would like to start something for my birthday specifically, you can pick something Americana or something using one of those red, white, or blue, or my favorite color, purple. And I'll have a hashtag. I'm sure it'll just be Lara's B-Day sell. It's probably already out there probably so. and uh, we will just use that and see what kind of fun things pop up. Well, and then if you want to start something for my birthday, uh, start something that's been languishing in your stash that you're like, why haven't I started that yet? I love it. That's what you can do. Ooh, for me. <laughs> I'm sure I have those. 
Uh, that's why I'm starting a whale um, this year because I've had it and it's when it's so cute and I want to start it. So, yeah. And uh, with that, I would say that probably I've covered all the rambling for us today. <laughs> and we've been shenanigators for sure. <laughs> so there's really nothing else to say except bye. Bye. Have a good week. Hi, guys. Bye. So we are here at the Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop. We had to stop. So I'm going to turn this around and just let you see all the fun stuff. Look at the mayhem. What time is it, Keisha? So they're shopping down there. There's a huge food court. Just all the fun things.